With AWS Service Catalog, you can create, govern, and manage a catalog of infrastructure as code templates that are approved for use on AWS. These infrastructure as code templates can include everything from virtual machine images, servers, software, and databases to complete multi-tier application architectures. You can control which IEC templates and versions are available, what is configured by each version, and who can access each template based on individual, group, or cost center. When using service catalog, the first step is to create products based on your infrastructure as code templates. You can then collect products together with configuration information in a portfolio. The good news is that now, along with AWS CloudFormation, you can also use the good old Terraform to as an infrastructure code language in your service catalog. In this great blog post, Danilo um, from AWS has given a step-by-step -step instruction as how to configure this uh, Terraform open source in service catalog. The first step you need to do is to go to this GitHub repo, clone it on your local laptop or whatever server you are using. And then from there, just run this shell command, shell script from either from Git bash on Windows or maybe from any of your jump box in the Linux. And you will be running this in your management account or your AWS organization main account where your service catalog is configured. Normally the way organizations configure service catalog is that they provision the portfolios or the products in their main account and then with the help of AWS organization they share those portfolios from service catalog to the different accounts. So just run this shell script from your management account in AWS organization where you have configured the service catalog. Once that's done just create a Terraform template just like this one where um, it is just provisioning a simple EC2 instance and in the first few lines it is describing that the provider in Terraform is AWS and then the region for that uh, provider plus the resource definition for the AWS instance. Now once that's done just keep that Terraform template with you and then go to that management account. From there once you have run that above script Terraform open source new will appear in the option. Select that one, then give your product a name, some description, and other stuff. Then upload the template file, the Terraform template file, which you just uh, created above, and also make sure that it is in the tar.gz format. You can even put it in a three bucket and give the URL of that. Now, once that's done, it will give you some of the options, the step-by-step -step one, which is again very simple. You just have to click and click there. Um, so you're adding your new Terraform product to your portfolio, like the Danilo has given this name, the Danilo P-Portfolio. And then it just asks you a few more questions that, um, do you want to enable a, a role name there or a launch constraint? A launch constraint specifies AWS IAM role that AWS service catalog and your Terraform assume when the end user launches a product. So if you want to give it, then uh, just give the role name there. Once that's done, you can use um, AWS service catalog and launch that product using the Terraform. So as you can see on the screen, here is, here is a Terraform uh, product there. Let me make it a tad bit bigger so that you'd be able to see the screenshot there, which is a bit, okay, I think, yeah, it looks good now. So once that's done, you will select the product here, which has been created with your Terraform, and then it will be on the launch screen. You can also generate the name of your product here. Once that's done, you, you can select the product version because there could be multiple Terraform templates for different versions. So we are giving this product version v1 and then it will give you the summary and also the tags and once uh, the good one good thing about it is that whatever product you will be launching the service catalog tag will be added to that product now 
once that's done it will also show you the resource tab as after the launch which resource has been created and then the Renault also goes in and give you some availability and pricing information i will also be putting the link to this document uh, from AWS website in the video description and again a big thank you for to Danilo for producing this great document all credit to him I hope this was useful um, if you are a big Terraform fan like me I think you should uh, really make use of this service catalog integration with AWS and really you have to acknowledge the AWS generosity here that not only they are sticking with cloud formation but they have also given us the option of using terraform with service catalog and then down the road you can integrate this service catalog terraform with image builder to have an end-to-end -end pipeline for infrastructure provisioning i hope this was useful if you have any feedback please put them in the comments thank you